Hey guys, welcome to the SR Lounge Lightroom Training Series. My name is Pai. I am one of the partners of Lynn and Joseph Photography, which is a wedding and engagement photography studio based out of Orange County. And I'm also one of the co-founders of SLR Lounge. Now, just to give you guys a brief background on my experience in post-production, each one of us in our studio, our studio is composed of three partners, and at the beginning, when we first started our business, each one of us were assigned a different area of the business to kind of develop and, and manage. Now, the area that I developed was the post-production side. So this meant that not only was I developing our unique style of photography that would kind of become our signature style for the studio, I was also figuring out how to make our entire post-production workflow just more efficient in general so that we could run a profitable business. Uh, you know, the first thing I kind of learned from doing post-production was just how much of our artistry as photographers is in the post-production process. Uh, when I first got this process, I kind of looked at it as just kind of a, a real downer, getting in front of the computer, punching buttons, and just to get the images color corrected. But quickly I realized that with the correct post-production, uh, a great image that's shot in camera could become an amazing image. And with the wrong post-production, it was the opposite. A great image shot in camera would become absolutely awful. So I want you guys to think of post-production not so much as just sitting down, punching the keys to get the right color balance, but more uh, as an extension of your artistry and photography. And that's not to say that your images don't need to be shot the way you want them in camera. You still need to do your best to get the correct exposures, the correct lighting, and the right effect for your product. But, uh, in my opinion, which is uh, probably a little bit biased, I think probably 50%, if not more, of our artistry is in that post-production side. Now, when we first started the studio, we really couldn't hire any additional staff. And so what this meant was, every single image that was being shot in the studio, I was actually individually culling and editing on my own. Uh, to give you an idea of how many images that was, uh, not so long ago I actually passed the 1 million image mark as far as images cold and edited. Uh, and this is actually how I got the nickname Post-Production Pi. You know, Christopher and Justin saw that all I did basically in the studio was, well aside from shoot, was basically post-produce. And they started calling Post-Production Pi, which at first I hated because I kind of looked at post-production as being this downer of a, a process. But as I got to enjoy the artistry side of post-production more, the name kind of grew on me kind of stuck to me. It's kind of become my moniker in the studio, and so I think I'll stick to it here on SR Lounge. So you guys can call him post-production pie. But um, now in the studio we actually have two full-time staff who are constantly producing and editing all of our images, but I'm still overseeing the entire process and managing it and making sure that everything that they do meets our quality and our, our style and standards. So being in charge of this process from the beginning until now has been incredibly educational. And this is the education that I kind of want to pass along and help you guys to become basically masters of post-production. Uh, so what we're going to do to achieve this is we're going to first start off by learning Lightroom in complete detail. Uh, now this video training series is basically created very, very comprehensively and we're, what we're trying to do is keep each video short uh, but make a comprehensive list of videos so that you guys can quickly navigate to the section that you really need the most help on. If you're starting out, feel free to start from the beginning and go through every tutorial. If you're somewhat familiar with Lightroom, then pick the tutorial that kind of leads to where you're starting from. Alright guys, and so from here, oh, the reason by the way we're going to learn Lightroom first is that Lightroom is really the, I mean, it's, it's the workhorse of the photographer workflow. It should be the cornerstone of our workflow. Um, now, I say it should be because there's a lot of photographers out there who are not using Lightroom. And uh, we're going to talk about why you should be, how powerful it is, all in this kind of upcoming introduction. So guys, stay tuned, enjoy, and we do have a large and wonderfully helpful community here at SR Lounge. So if you guys have questions, comments, you want to request additional instructions, feel free to post those comments in the comment sections below each video. And I'm sure somebody is going to be able to be helpful and respond to those comments. Alright guys, enjoy!